It is Christmas, my absolute favorite time of the year by a long shot. I'm completely obsessed. What I'm doing today is a little bit different. Well, yes, I'm going to the swap meet and looking for video games or toys or anything nostalgia related, but the kicker is I'm going to be shopping for family and friends and hoping to fill Santa's sack. Thank you to Misplay for sponsoring this video, an app where you can earn gift cards. Pokemon. How much is a little Pokemon binder? How about the Mario? All right, she said 15 bucks. I don't really need it. That's okay. So today I'm looking for video games or toys or anything nostalgia related as normal. But the kicker is I'm actually Christmas shopping today for my family, my friends, checking off things off the list. This could go really well or it could go horribly wrong. So check it out. I was looking in this cabinet and look, just some beautiful old photos of vintage cars. You guys know we love the old stuff like this. It's just so pretty. Let's see what else. Oh yeah, there's some more right here. Oh, that would just look so good framed. So good. For Ooh, that, look at that truck. I love that truck. Such good stuff. Oh, whoa, I saw some things I shouldn't have. Ooh, wait a second. Pause, I was about to go look at some nerdy stuff over there that I like, but the podcast studio is almost done and I could use some acoustics. Is this sealed? Uh, Nabila, am I, is this, do you know if this has been opened before? It's not. Okay, do you know what you wanted on it? Uh, 30. 30 bucks? Yep. I'm in, I'll do it. I'll do it for 30 bucks. Yes, for the podcast studio. Let's go, let's go. I'm actually like beyond hyped. Here we go, might be able to knock something off the list for the kiddos. My my nephew would like this. Christmas shopping has begun and it's up my alley. How much is the uh, the Mario Kart guy? Can you say how much, how about um, right here, these guys? Seven, seven D, got it. So two items knocked off already. One for me, a personal would be a Pixel Pal, great for the podcast studio. And then this Mario Kart, uh, the three pack right here uh, for my nephew, my buddy, I call him Poncho, his name's Wyatt. And, uh, and the acoustics, I'm very excited on. Those are actually like 130 bucks or so. Navila hooked me up for 30 bucks. Almost just crossed an item off for my daughter. She she wears this brand called Aviator Nation. And I thought these were because they have, their clothing kind of looks like this, but I guess it's some company called Psycho Bunny, which I've never heard her mention. Only luck with my nephew so far, but still I'm just in such a good mood today. It's Christmas. It feels so good. Everything in the air feels so good. What the, the heck are these things? All right, let's, let's keep looking. Let's see what we can find. Wow, I'm always impressed at how some of these new artworks look. Canvas Super Mario 3, really nice looking. Right? There's a brighter Mario one, but I like this more. Obviously, it's more of that original style. Oh, and I've seen these kind of pop in lately. The, the new Power Rangers are like the flip head ones, but this would be cool. This would make a good gift. Uh, I could say this could be, uh, I, don't, I don't know for who yet, but this is definitely a good kind of gift. Let me see what he wants on. There he is. There he is. Let's go. Let's see. I was looking at these, Ricky, right here. What was you finding? I was just looking at some of these guys. I thought they were super cool. So obviously these, these. Blastoise and then shiny Blastoise. They're really nice. I like this shiny look one right here. Look, he said this is from his personal collection as a kid. Dare to enter the Omega Zone. Girl. Bring it on, homie. This be the X-Ray, you battling with. Like an old Omega yo-yo. Dude, that's pretty dope. I was like, that is awesome. And then he had some, I actually think these are really cool. I know it's like the new Power Rangers lightning collection, but I think this is awesome. Look, Ricky, he's oh, got his, he got his, the head. he's got his toidal head. He said he would do like 20 each. He had them at a little more, but if I bought a few of them, he said he would. So Ooh, I might have to do that. Ooh, how much like, is this guy? Uh, is there any more of these or is that it? Check it, check it, check it, check it. Whoa, that's like a 1901. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking, he's looking. Oh, and I'm slowly filling Santa's sack right here. I got the Power Rangers Billy. I love, I saw these the other day on Whatnot, somebody selling them and I'm like, oh, those are so cool. I got outbid, but that, probably the coolest Beast Wars Transformer. I know Ricky would like something like this. And then uh, I got the shiny, shiny guy. I'm running out of space quick because I bought all toys. Look at this, Ricky. Although my bag is filling up quick and that's pretty exciting, I'm finding a lot of cool stuff. I'm not accomplishing my mission yet. I'm not knocking anything off others' Christmas lists. Ricky just pointed this out. By the way, there's an awesome Phineas and Ferb pillowcase. Look how cool that looks. 2011, I mean, that's technically vintage, Ricky. Yeah, you know it's all vintage. Look, they got Raggedy Andy. Raggedy Andy. But look at this, an old jacket. And if you look at it, you see Los Angeles. Hmm, what could it be? Boom. Dharma and Gray promo. Again, this is cool, but like Ricky said, I don't know how much 
I, this wouldn't be we're something out. This wouldn't be something I would keep. Good. So who do we sell it to? <laughs> you know, I don't know any a Dharma and Greg collector, but the Hollywood stuff, man, it's all over around here. Look what we just pulled up on. All these, I walked across McDonald's toys a million times. What is this McDonald's or is it a different company? See if we can complete a set. I'm gonna complete a set. Oh, I got that one. I got this guy right here. All of them are that. I don't know if they have more of those. That might be our set, Ricky. <laughs> we might've just completed the set real quick. Thankfully, after that great little haul, Ricky and I know exactly where we are. We look around and say, hey, this booth down there, this guy over here, he always has awesome stuff. We gotta check out what he has today. All right, we just stumbled into a booth that we've been to before. We love these guys. They always have awesome toys, awesome toys, and video game related stuff too. Ricky found this switch dock right here. Power A, Joy-Con charging dock. Ricky put this down. I could use this. I've been playing my Switch a lot lately, man. Ever since Mario Wonder, my kids are excited about playing games again. But then you have the Turtles, Bride of Frankenstein, April O'Neil collab. I love this, I'm gonna have to grab this for sure. Uh, there's an ET right here that I wanna check out. Ultimate dress up. I like that, I like that, baby. I liked it. Gotta take a break from the holiday shopping. Are you already playing mobile games? If so, why not earn with Misplay? Join the mobile gamers who actually get rewarded for their playtime. Misplay is a loyalty app for those who love playing mobile games. You can discover new mobile games. Misplay offers a huge catalog of mobile games across different genres like puzzle, word, strategy, adventure, and more. You can earn points towards redeeming gift cards. The more you play, the more points you earn. Redeem your points for gift cards from your favorite brands like Amazon, Walmart, Visa, Xbox, PlayStation, and more. Over 60 million and gift cards have already been redeemed. Now I am playing Block Blast, one of my favorite games that I downloaded on here, and I'm earning points towards gift cards as we speak. Speed run! Look at them games, aren't they neat? Wouldn't you, what, what would be the best category in here? Recommended, social slots, word, creative, canvas games, tycoon, merge. I, I'm gonna say Idol Adventures right here. Look at this! Adventure Communist, Trailer Park Boys, Bud Farm. These, these are wild. I'm gonna download this one. Eat Venture. My gosh, I'm hungry. Visit misplay.com slash pixel or click the link in the description to download Misplay for free. Get 200 bonus points for signing up today. Plus use my code pixel30 inside the app to get an additional 30 free points, which will help towards redeeming your first gift card. See the description for full details. Who knew Misplay could help me with my holiday shopping? And speaking of that, we're going back shopping, Christmas shopping to the swap meet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are these vintage? Yes. They are. Get them both. Don't matter. What does matter? Never mind. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Good night, son. Wowie zowie. Oh, dude. These are awesome. Oh Ricky's looking. Gosh. Look at that boy. He's flying high. You <laughs> need. I know we didn't, we, we didn't bring a cart today and I'm just wearing my Santa sack for my shopping day. But okay, I gotta check out these guys for sure. These are awesome. Oh, what? Yeah. Just sitting under there. It's a bunch of toys. What a beautiful. Oh, dude, I've never seen a yellow one. Grimlock yellow. Oh, dude, this is the show I always talk about when I tell you guys, Ronin Warriors. Oh, that's right. I do. used to have this, this complete set. I was looking at some Muppets stuff down here. I love Muppets stuff, they're so fun. But the other day I tried to watch the Muppets Christmas Carol yeah. and I didn't know my kids hate it. All the kids were like, no, Dad, we hate that. Remember what happened at, at, at our uh, podcast? Yeah, That's I know. Exactly what I, I love Muppets stuff. I think Muppets are, are awesome. I still think they're awesome. He's got to introduce him to Muppet Baby. Muppet Baby. Oh, this. That's we looked all over it, and I, I think it is truly vintage. 1990. 1990. We looked all over it because, as Ricky pointed out, once in a while you'll buy these, and they'll have like another, you know, they'll say 1990, but then it'll be like 2020 remake. But I think this is a solid sealed Simpsons Mystery of Life. Hmm. Here's my pile. Simpsons, Turtles, Turtles. Switch, Switch, and those vintage watches. Any bundle deal if I buy all this? Yeah. <laughs> all right, here you go. I'll let you, uh, I don't know how to add. I'll let you do it. You're, you're much smarter than me. 120 for all this? Yeah. My man, hopefully you vend at SoCal. Hopefully we find you at SoCal. But look, what, look what else he's selling though. What is this? Oh, dude. Bro, that's a multi-tool right there. Yeah, multi <laughs> oh. <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> uh, saw that, right? uh, the, the entire world just saw it. Oh look, an idiot! So Santa's sack have been filled very quickly. This is a big bag too. Look at that, and it has been 
filled to the brim. I say hello to the friends, by the way, right there. But I just saw this on the other side. I gotta check this out. The only bad thing about Santa's sack right now is um, it's filled with like two items for other people. And the whole point is for me shopping. I gotta hit up some clothing booths for my daughters. I'm, I'm still still <laughs> finding stuff for me right now, like crazy, more than I expected. I tried not to buy these, but he hooked me up. Look at this. That is so sick. I've never seen, obviously I've seen the Metroid Dread Amiibos, but the cami, oh my God, I'm in. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you, appreciate it, thank you. Oh boy, oh boy. This is this is actually, I feel like in the red bag, it really does feel like Santa's sack. And it's just, it's, by the way, Santa's sack, by the way. Uh, it's just so great. I, like, this is what every kid wants to walk into. Now that booth was an absolute complete success. It's been a while since I've carried like a backpack or a sack to the swap meet. Normally we take carts, so it's a whole different feeling, but to load it up with toys and games and just have everything sticking out of the top of that sack, it felt awesome. Look at those vintage hand puppets. That's really dude, cool, dude. Sick. Ooh, Mars Attacks toy too. You see it? Oh yeah. Right there. Mars Attacks. Wow. Look at that. The Wizard of Oz, the Boo Boo version, and then the Return to Oz. The great, the mighty, the amazing, the underrated, one of the best and scariest children's movies of all time. From a distance, see something in the corner of my eye. A Mario Christmas tree. Look at this. This is beautiful. <laughs> How much is this? Um, 25. He's cool. Would you do 20 on it? Uh, yeah. I'll take it. This is so cool. Super Mario LED light up desktop Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. How I need thee. Thank you. Appreciate you. Have a good one. Ricky, what are you buying right now? I was looking down and I saw you say, I'll take one. Oh, it's for it's for one of my kids. What is it? Side, side ducks. They really love side ducks. Which one did you get? Small, large, or extra large? This one. I can't do the extra large. She's here. I'm trying to hide it so she doesn't know I got it. Oh, you got to put it in the bag. I probably should have mentioned that our families came with us this weekend, but they're not actually here walking with us. They're just at the swap meet. We're kind of going incognito. They don't know exactly what we're doing, but we're kind of keeping it a secret. Trivia time for Ricky. <laughs> If you can get this correctly, you get to keep this. In the poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas, what dances in children's heads while they sleep? The moonlight. Visions of sugar plums. This stays with me. I wanted to dance in the moonlight. Dancing in the moonlight. Everybody feeling warm and bright. What the heck is this? You know what he does, right? That is awesome. What did he do? He's holding down the fort. Right now, he <laughs> uses a giant paperweight. But wow, that's awesome. Picking up uh, my studio acoustics from the Vila's right now. Those, that's probably my most favorite thing I picked up, even though I filled this sack. But uh, just because it's for the podcast, I'm always about like, production and making things better and bigger and all that so that's part of the show i think it's the next booth okay that would make sense also i'd just like to point out that i was correct and i was walking right down the right row and ricky made me go the wrong I'm way i used to come on sundays yeah true it went on a different day it's weird <laughs> What do you think of them, Ricky? So, kind of a quick update on not just our game room, but the podcast studio is it's not done yet, but it's starting to get where we want it. We replaced the floors, added drainage, replaced the roof, made sure it's completely suitable for everything moving forward. So, we're super looking forward to it. And again, it's not done, but we're getting there. Pretty dope. This is pickup of the day for sure. I'm stoked. And probably the deal of the day, too. She hooked me. Oh, my voice. She hooked me up big time. I've been doing this now for almost 12 years on YouTube itself. We're just pushed over 11 years. It's a different feeling. It's a different crowd of people. It's not necessarily the type of event that I feel like most people are built for. The idea of digging through junk, as most people would think, week after week after week, and hopes of maybe finding one or two items. Sometimes you find nothing. I will say Ricky and I have been finding tons of stuff the past couple years, and I don't know what I can chalk that up to, but either way, we're thankful. The biggest thing to point out is that I've been doing this for this long with my best friend. If you would have told me back in the day when we started this, it would be a tradition of ours, a weekly ritual, something that we're gonna bring along the community with every single weekend, I, I probably wouldn't have believed you. But to this day, right now in this moment, 
there's nothing I'm more thankful for. The fact that I can do this with my best friend, talk with him about games and toys and nerdy things every other day, it's a true blessing. And you guys are here as well. And I wouldn't change it for the world. Merry Christmas.